Hello. Veera, uh, big action now coming in. Well, uh, JDS has finally suspended Prajwal Rivana after uh, allegations against him and the videos that have uh, gone viral of uh, him um, in, uh, uh, well, uh, you know, well, charges that have been made against Rivana as well and the complaint that has been made against Prajwal Rivana. What happens to his Lok Sabha candidature now? Hello. All right, we'll try and connect with uh, Veera Raghav in just a bit. That's the latest coming in at the moment. Well, a big development now taking place. Well, JDS candidature, etc. Right now, that's a different process. For the moment, as far as the party is concerned, the JDS, uh, after a core committee meeting, uh, the press conference is right now on. We expect the formal announcement to be made shortly. We'll suspend Prajwal Revanna as the first step, issue show cause notice on why he shouldn't be expelled, and then go through the process. It's essentially, the process of action against Prajwal Revanna for the moment begins as far as the JDS is concerned. The party's core concern is how to protect its image from such serious allegations against, not remember, just another JDS member. It's part of the Deva Gauda family member. Hassan is a prestige Lok Sabha seat for the family. It was Deva Gauda's seat which was given to Prajwal Revanna in 2019. So uh, it's, it's a huge uh, symbolic seat as far as uh, the JDS is concerned and also uh, Prajwal Revanna having accusations of the nature that's been made against him is extremely disturbing for uh, JDS uh, and the focus of the party is to protect its image, uh, of course, not to allow any further fallout. The JDS accusing the Congress of a conspiracy in this matter, questioning the timing of the release of the video, saying that if these videos were available for the last one year, why were they not released and why were they released just before voting day? Um, so we expect the formal process of action. Uh, beginning. Uh, remember, there is an HD Ravanna faction of the JDS. Uh, there's the HD Kumaraswamy faction as well. The party together, uh, after this core committee meeting, uh, has no other course of action but to show that it is taking action against Prajwal Ravanna. Now, the next stage would be to get Prajwal Ravanna before the authorities. As far as the question of his candidature is concerned, uh, Kitty, the, the process of law is simple. If he wins the elections, uh, and that we will know post the 4th of June, then obviously the process of law will play out. And uh, it is only through the course of law, uh, post, let's say, the matter goes to the courts and whether he gets convicted or not, how seriously the charges are followed up in terms of the case, that would determine the future as far as that aspect of Prajwal Revanna's political career is concerned. Of course, this raises a big question mark over him. Those live pictures you're seeing are of GP Deva Gowda, the party's state president speaking. He was part of the core committee meeting. You have HD Kumaraswamy as well sitting next to GT Deva Gowda. Uh, H.D. Kumaraswamy did speak to us journalists before he entered the meeting saying that even if there is no proof on moral grounds, the JDS will take action, sending out a clear indication that there was going to be action taken against Prajwal Revanna. Now, how seriously the party uh, follows this up and how seriously these investigations go on would be crucial to determine the political future.